Good afternoon, folks. I'm going to do a product review on the High C um, insulated. I don't know if you call these rubber boot or muck boot, but I just got them today uh, in the mail. And um, I don't know. I just want to do a product review because I didn't see much of how these boots were built on YouTube. And so far, I'm not really impressed with them. I don't want to bash this company apart. Um, I guess I'm just going to make a couple suggestions. Um, as far as being waterproof, I haven't had them in the water, but I don't doubt that they would be waterproof. They look like they would be. It looks like nice glued joints to the neoprene. Um, the outside coating on the neoprene seems a little maybe soft, okay, not as uh, sturdy as like a muck boot or a, a Rocky or a lacrosse. And I guess I bought these boots because I was a little bit in a pinch. I have my muck boots up north at my cabin. And the first thing I noticed while I was wearing them for a little bit was I was feeling a lot of transfer in the heel and a lot of reflection in the ground movement into my leg. And then I started to look into it a little closer and I thought, well, let me take the boot off and see if there's a steel shank or a fiberglass shank. And what I'll tell you is there's not. Let me show you what these boots will do. You can completely deform the boot. Um, the, the soles are not that heavy and rigid. Okay, so whatever you're walking on, if you're walking on cobble in a river, that stone is going to transfer force back up into your heel. So I could see, you know, um, some issues with that. Uh, again, I'm not knocking these boots. I was in a pinch. I didn't want to buy a whole other pair of muck boots or bogs or lacrosse or Rockies or anything like that. And I've had them all. Um, again, I, I just needed a pair of waterproof boots boots um, that were at least knee high and I bought these in a pinch. I paid about 46 bucks off of Amazon for these uh, that included shipping. Um, but so far I'm you know I'm I'm kind of not impressed. Um, I guess the manufacturer has been doing some cool things like giving you uh, in the box I had this phone protector okay for water. And just being out on the water, that's great. But if I could make a suggestion to the manufacturer, I would say don't send me this phone protector. Um, beef up your soles a little bit and maybe put a fiberglass or steel shank in there. And then these boots would be a little bit more comfortable in, I guess, uh, a factor and a degree of safety when you're mucking around in riverbeds. Uh, on cobble and stuff like that, I think your foot would be a lot, you know, better protected than than in what I'm seeing right now. So um, it's just a short review regarding this boot. Again, I, I do believe these are going to be very waterproof, so I'm not concerned about that. Uh, I didn't see many videos of guys showing, you know, more or less like the structure of the boot. Uh, they seem like you're kind of walking a little flat to the ground and not raised up with a good heel. But uh, I guess, you know, the old saying goes, you get what you paid for. So again, not entirely knocking them. Um, didn't want to go out and buy another expensive pair of boots. But if these were my only boots, I would not be happy with them. Um, I'm going to compare them real quick to the um, Tidewee that I bought for my daughter. And you can see that boot is a little bit more rugged. It still doesn't have a steel or fiberglass shank, but it's constructed a little differently. The coating on this neoprene is just a tiny bit stronger and feels a little bit more rigid than the high C. So I'm neither a fan of the Tidewee or the high C, but I'm going to tell you that they fit a purpose. They fit a budget line. Um, that's great that they can do this, but if I can make a suggestion, at least with the high C, um, I'd like to see a model that was a step above these that had a little bit more structure in them. I can tell you I can still deform the Tidewee, but it takes 
me a little bit more force and I'm I'm crunching down on that boot and it's not flexing as much as that that high C. So I hope you found this uh, video informational. Um, again, they're 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 a boot in a class that is not amongst some of the other brands out there. I know there's some videos on YouTube that compare these to the Muck Boot and some of the other brands, but they are half price. And I kind of feel like you get half the boot. So they still have a purpose. I bought them. Um, I work for the government. I do a lot of work that can, can lead me to the outside into uh, county ditches and walking field lines and stuff like that. Um, I might be able to do that with these boots, but I, I don't envision myself walking three to five miles in the back country and feeling entirely comfortable with this boot on my foot. Um, I do tend to spend a little bit more dollars with boots. I buy Danners and Rocky and stuff like that. And um, again, these, these boots have a purpose. Uh, but, um, you know, I just want to get give a little bit of information out there. Again, a comparison between the Tidewee and the High C. Um, I think the Tidewee is is just a little stronger, maybe a little bit heavier of a polymer um, boot structure compared to the High C. Hope you found it informational. Thank you.